Hey, it's Library Ninja. And Bison Ninja. From Team NCV. I guess first thing off from the preview, there wasn't exactly a whole lot that it seems like they're changing. But it no. seems like they're going to do a whole lot of bugs, or at least that's what I feel because they haven't really... Hopefully. They need to fix that last hitting bug. Yeah. No minions around, no enemy champions around. I'm attacking the same minion that I've been attacking for, like, since my first auto attack. <laughs> and then I don't even get it. That's just... There's... Hopefully they're going to focus more on bugs, because that's what we really need, especially right now. Yeah. Um, but the first thing I kind of noticed is they were seeing something with the Vessel Scepter and, like, how its aura was too big. And it was like, when they actually brought it up on screen, I was like, holy shit, I didn't know it was that big. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> I thought it was actually what they're after was, like, Mon Malmortis. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be our item of the week. Um... I actually kind of got this stats because I got this brand new app. It's called Pentakill. Apparently, if you buy it, you can actually take a picture of your screen and it'll tell you counter picks, how to play against them, how to build against them, and whatever else. Really cool app. I didn't buy it. I should have. Uh, <laughs> if I could find seven cents and somehow throw it on my iTunes account, I will because I have 92 cents. It's like, oh. That sucks. Uh, I know. Um, but anyway, I got the stats for it. So I have 55 attack damage and 36 magic resist. And I'm pretty sure anybody who plays Soul Top, they know like to buy this on an AP heavy team because it gives you that shield. Oh, yeah. And well, only if you're AD. Well, that's it. Well, most of the Soul Tops are AD anyway. So yeah. yeah, but it gives you that shield when you hit that. I think it's 35 percent. Uh, yeah, but you get less than 30 percent health. And then and you it gives get, you that shield, which yeah. is pretty cool. And it also gives you essentially Atmogs. If everybody, oh, bleh. Any of the older players know Atmogs because it's Atmogs and Warmogs, but they nerfed the two together, so now this is kind of like the new Atmogs in a sense. Or if you, you just combine them all, that's really strong too. So. Yeah. Well, this thing gives you 2.5 attack damage for each health. No. Wait. How much health you're missing? Yeah. yeah. Percentage. That's maximum health, isn't it? So. Yeah. So it's really good on champions that get low and have high health regen or something like that, like a Mundo or a Singed, if, no, not a Singed, play AD Singed maybe, but. So top, all of it, I don't know, something with high yeah. health stat, oh, Kale. Sometimes. Let's turn left. So, <laughs> we will talk about AD carries next, the three AD carries that got nerfed well, that, what or buffed. Told us that they nerfed, yeah. so. Well, personally, I think I'm going to go with uh, Ezreal first, just because I like Ezreal's concept as a champion, and so especially as a, like, something to play. He's fun. Yeah. I didn't really know what the hell they're trying to achieve with that Essence Flux thing, but... Um, it looked more like a bug fix to fix it, yeah, so that I hit so they have AP ratios and hybrid Ezreals and all this other stuff, um, like, I'm just lost. Just they gave it, they gave it an extra bit of an AP ratio that made AP Ezreal a bit better, and then they nerfed, well, nothing, they didn't nerf, they buffed his Q by giving it less... Mana. Uh, mana. So it's like two more. per level or three per level or something Either like way, that. Either way, you're going to be able to spam out more Mystic Shots, which will be a lot better. Yeah. And as Ezreal long as players, I don't miss them. Yeah. And of course, Ezreal players, will, I'm pretty sure, will like, appreciate it and love it for everything that yep. it is. Uh, I'd be one of those people. Oh, yeah. uh, next one was Graves, how they're slowing down his attack speed. Yeah, um, I, I like it because Graves is a little too strong with being tanky, high attack speed, and a shotgun, which makes no sense. Yeah, from that theme theme point, it makes no sense. But realistically, all this really seems like he's doing to Graves itself is just lowering him on the tier list because he's already high tier because of his tankiness. He can yeah. offer like a huge tank team. His Graves Soraka is, is like stupidly powerful. Oh yeah, well especially if you put him in kill lanes too. Yeah, but I mean, you can't kill a Graves Soraka yeah, because it's just mana heal, mana heal, mana heal. I still want to trust that that uh, Soraka and Nadali. That'll yeah. be. Oh. Be but, cool. Yeah, Graves, it seems like they just kind of lowered him off the tier list because maybe they've seen that he has too much play or something like that. But nonetheless, meh. Yep. And then Corky nerf, which I still... He doesn't need it. He's a slow he champion needs... already, so he needs something to help him with that Valkyrie. His Q costs way too much mana. His W costs way too much mana. And then they increase the cooldown to 26 seconds from, like, 20. Yeah. Which well, is already retardedly... Like I know it's not like it's something that does damage, like, such as Tristana, but it really needs something like lower because he's, like I said, he's exactly. a slow champion. He's not mobile. He needs that Valkyrie <coughs> to get in and out. Well, and no, he needs it to get in or out. Yeah. Which makes him like he has to stick in there and fight. And I always run out of mana with that champion. Oh yeah. 
But yeah, like his phosphor swamp is Q. That's what your like primary. Uh, yeah, it's like 120 mana. And that's what you used to farm. When you need to push a lane, the unit goes in, goes W. You phosphor swamp there, goes the entire wave. That's yeah, exactly the combo. That's what the unit was like. Too strong for it. I know. So much fun. Um, so our next topic would be uh, Diana and Evelyn. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about Evelyn first. Yeah, I was gonna say Evelyn. Evelyn's. Uh, Dark Frenzies now. Yeah, her known. W, I think it is, her move speed ability. She can pass through minions now, which is good, but I still don't think she's going to be viable. Yeah, it's almost like, the like beating a dead horse. Like, through the, the entire change, they were going somewhere with it, but right now it's like they're trying to change something to it, but it's almost like they're going to have to rechange her again because she Yeah, I know, I was place. thinking that too. She, she doesn't fit anywhere, that's why. Yeah, like, well, she... She doesn't... She can't jungle all that well, but all she has is roaming, and roaming isn't really in the... Yeah, it's not in the meta. So. Exactly. So, roaming Evelyn... She is a roaming champion. Like, that's what she was, and now she's just there. The glasses are getting dark. <laughs> yeah, so I think what they need to try to do is maybe put her in a solo top environment. Yeah, so make her, like... Yeah. Or a better or jungler. I don't know. Like, I don't even know how you make her a better jungler, but I see where, where she is right now. I remember her from the game, that's how... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But Riot wouldn't do that. No, no. But, yeah, um, I see her more going towards solo top rather than sticking in the jungle where she was, like, mm -hmm. Uh, so, Diana. Diana needed the nerf. They nerfed her Q. And her base stats. And her base heal. Well, like I heard a base, them uh, actually say something else about base stats, too. When they're, when I was just watching the video. Base, up. base health regen. Yeah, Why does that look like a, it looks like a metapod. Or is it? Can't see... There it is, I think. <laughs> Completely random. <laughs> there you um. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. AP ratios definitely needed that kind of reduction to it. Yeah. Um, Her Q was, was way too strong. But I do understand what they're trying to do with that health regen thing. Um, really, when I was kind of like looking it over, it's like, so she's going to have to build a little tank here now. That's what I was used to jungler seeing anyway. Maybe she'll like lose that carry jungle or whatever every spawn yeah. here. So, like, maybe this is the change in a better direction for her. Just because that reduced health regen will help her out. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. So that's it for the summoner walk. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And insert something witty here. <laughs> See you in the next video.